All right, let's talk real quick about what we call theoretical probability, okay? What should happen in theory? And so this is a tree chart, okay? This is a tree chart. So we refer to this as the ace game, okay? And so we want to look at how the tree goes, all right? So the first time I pull a card, okay, how many cards were there total? Five. And how many of them were aces? Two. Two of them, okay? So I had two out of five right there, okay? Because when I pull the first card to be an ace, I get a two out of five chance, okay? Does that make sense? Okay. So the other way, the other arrow that goes down is talking about the kings. Well, how many kings do I have? Three out of five, okay? What do you notice about those two fractions? They equal five out of five, which is one, okay? So up and down, it equals one, okay? So if I were to add those, it would equal one, okay? So when they're lined up, all right, it equals one. So now let's look at the next one, okay? So I've pulled the first card, I'm going back up to the top, and it's an ace, okay? Now, how many cards are left? Four, and how many of them are aces? One out of four, okay? One out of four. And so then underneath that, how many are left to be kings? Three out of four, okay? What do you notice about those two numbers? They add up to one, all right? They add up to one, okay? Let's go the other direction. Now we're talking about the kings, okay? So I pulled a king, the first card. Now how many cards do I have? Four. How many of them are kings? There's just two left that are kings, right? So that's going to give me two out of four. And then have I pulled an ace at all? Uh, no. no. So there's still two aces there, two out of four. And again, that set adds up to one, okay? So each individual set adds up to one, okay? So that's important, all right, to notice. It all adds up to one, all right? So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow the tree, okay? Because these events change based on what I pick, right? So the first thing it wants me to do, the first probability, what's the probability that you get an ace and then another ace? So we're, we're gonna follow it. We're gonna do an ace and an ace, all right? What I'm gonna do is multiply those two probabilities together. Okay, because they are deep, oh, not that. They are our events, okay, they're dependent events. So two-fifths times one-fourth gives me two out of 20, okay, or one-tenth. All right, so one way to look at that, okay. The next probability that I want to do is that I start with an ace, and then I get a king, all right? So all I'm gonna do is multiply those probabilities along that tree. So the first one was two out of five. The second one was three out of four. And that gives me six out of 20, okay? Or three out of 10, all right? Whichever way you wanna look at it, okay? All right, again, we're gonna continue to follow this tree. This time, we want the first card to be a king and the second to be an ace. So if we follow the tree, king to ace, let's multiply our probabilities, three-fifths times two-fourths, and we get six out of 20. And then the last one, okay, we want the first is a king and the second is a king. So we follow the tree. King to king, and we multiply those probabilities. Three-fifths times two-fourths, okay, and I get six out of 20, okay, six out of 20. So, again, I want you to look. I'm just going to add the numerators here, right? Two plus six is how much? Eight plus six is? 14 plus six more is 20. So this whole line still adds up to what? One. All those probabilities still add up to one. 
okay? So all those probabilities still add to one. So now it asks me, what's the theoretical probability of winning this game? Well, let's talk about how could I win, all right? How could I win if I got ace, ace, or king, king, right? So if we do that, what was my probability for ace, ace? Mm -hmm. It was that two out of 20. And what was my probability for king, king? Six out of 20, which gives me eight out of 20, or two out of five, which is 0.4. Okay, so we get a 0.4 chance. Some of y'all got really close to that. Okay, as a class, we got really close to that. All right, it was a 0.4%. So that's what I mean by experimental probability, the law of large numbers. The more we do it, the more accurate it gets to the theoretical. Okay, now let's look at this one. So what's the probability that the first card was a king given that the person won the game? So this is that conditional probability. How do I know that it's the conditional one? Given. It says given, okay? It says given. So the, when I think about my probabilities, probability that I won, okay, over probability that the first was a king. Okay, so we know we're going to do division when I see that given word. Okay, so the probability that I would win, we did just a few minutes ago, was that 2 out of 5. Okay, or 0.4, however you want to write that down. Okay, but now we got to look at this one because my top one has to be a probability that I did to get the winner. Okay, and the ones that I did to get the winner was 2 out of 20 and 6 out of 20. Okay, so let's see which one matches what they're looking for, where the first one is the king. Would it be the 2 out of 20 or the 6 out of 20? It would be the 6 out of 20. And so that would go in my numerator. Okay, now I've not divided fractions by hand in a long time, but you could get some decimals. This would be what, 0.4. The top one would be um, 0.3. And 0.3 divided by 0.4 is at point, or 0.75. Yep. Okay, so that would be my probability. So anytime you see the word given, there is going to be division. Okay, so it's a little bit weirder to do it from the tree diagram in my personal opinion. Okay, but when you have that tree, we multiply down the branches to get my probability. Okay, if we want more than one thing out of the tree, we add those two things together. Okay, when we do our conditional, we got to divide. All right, so all the times that we use everything, okay? So here's what I want us to do. I don't really think putting all this together in words is helpful. I think it helps just to see it, okay? So I'm actually going to skip that box up there at the top, okay? But I do want to look at some of these applications because I think it'll help us, okay? So let's take a look. It says lactose intolerance causes difficulty in digesting dairy products that contain lactose. It's particularly common among people of African and Asian ancestry. In the United States, not including other groups of, uh, and peoples who consider themselves to belong to more than one race, 82% of the population is white. So they're going to give me a lot of information right here. 82% is white, 14 in black is black, 4 is Asian. Okay. Moreover, 15% of whites, 70% of blacks, and 90% of Asians are lactose intolerant, okay? And so what we want to do is to put together a tree diagram of what's going on here, all right? So what are the three categories of people? Oh, put your, all right, that we're talking about. in this chart what what are our three categories of people uh, white, Asian, black. all right white black and asian okay so what i want to do is i'm going to put the percentages for those people all right on the tree going to them all right so i'm talking about people because they want me to select a person so that's what i know what my chart's about it's about people okay now, let's look at our numbers, right? What percentage was white? 82. What would that be as a decimal? 0.82. Okay. What percent was black? 
0.14, and what percent was Asian? 0.4, okay? So 0.04, all right? So we're going to put those there. What should those three numbers add up to? They should add up to one, all right, or 100%, and they do, okay? Now, for each group, we talk about are they lactose intolerant or not, okay? So we're going to split them to yes and no, okay? Both groups, all groups to yes and no. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Okay, and remember, each set has to add up to 100 or add up to 1, okay? So, the numbers they gave me are the people who are yeses, all right? So, let's do that. Let's put those in, okay? What was my percent of yes for whites? 0.15, okay? What about for blacks? 0 0.70, and what about for Asians? 0.9, so those are my three yes numbers, Okay, what we're going to do is to figure out the no numbers from each group. Okay, each group has to be 100. Okay, so if I have 15 yes, how many does that leave me to be no? Uh, 85. Okay, if I have 70 yes, what does that leave me to be no? 30, 30 so point 0.3. If I have 90 yes, what does it leave me to be no? Point ten. Okay, and that's how we set up our chart. Okay, so each little group had to add up to a hundred. All right, or one. Now let's look at this one. We want to find the probability that the person is lactose intolerant. Okay, so when we use this chart, how many groups of people have we got to talk about? Three. We're going to do three different probabilities and add them up. Okay, so we're going to follow our chart, the person and yes, the person and yes, the person and yes. All right, so here we go. The person and yes, the person and yes, the person and yes. All right, so when I do this probability, that's why you need a calculator, 0.82 times 0.15 along the tree, we multiply. To get my total, we add them up. Okay. 0.14 and 0.70 plus 0.04 and 0.90. Okay, so that's what we're doing when we set up our tree. Okay. Point two five seven. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, we'll just take two. We'll take three. Okay. So that's the math we did. We multiply on the tree, okay, because we got to cover everybody. Then we add up what we get when we multiply all three, okay? All right, let's do the last one. Given, hint, 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 that the chosen person is lactose intolerant, what's the probability that she is, he or she is Asian, okay? So we want the probability that given I am a yes, because that's my lactose intolerant, that I'm also Asian, okay? So given that I'm a yes, all right, meaning I'm lactose intolerant, what was my Asian? This means we've got to divide, okay? In time it says given, we're going to divide, right? Lucky for us, we already did, the, already did the probability for being yes, okay? What was that number? It was this one, 0.257, okay? Now, which branch of my tree represents my Asian? 0.04 times 0.90. So we're going to use this branch. Okay. 0.04 times 0.90. Okay. We're going to multiply those together and then divide by the 0.257. Okay. You should get 0.1401. Okay. You got to multiply first, hit enter, then divide. Otherwise, it's only going to divide the second number. Okay, order of operations on your calculator. Or use the fraction, alpha y equals, to get the fraction. So you can put both on top and then divide. Okay, so the thing to know about today, all right, is that we are going to multiply and uh, add to get a total. We're going to add to 100 or add to 1. Like, that's the only thing we're doing, okay? It's the only thing we're doing. So, I want you to go ahead. I think it's only three questions. It might be four. Yeah, I got to get them. Um, but here's what we'll do. Okay, we'll skip the other examples for a second. Um, and I'll let you get started. We'll tinkle as well. 
all right, while I'm going to get the laptops, okay? All right, there you go. Let's work on this. Tomorrow we're going to practice this some more because this is different. Yeah. You see why I put two days, okay? I won't teach anything new tomorrow. We're just going to practice it some more, okay? So let me go.